that out without trying, hey, hey. Y'all y'all better sum up before you blow up. Y'all better be top winners. Y'all better sum up without trying. Y'all already know. Period. Notice why he ain't never show a close up of no paper where it says something about me mentioning the shine. Because the paper says that you, Master Splinter Glizzy, were the one in the grand jury who mentioned something about shine. That's what that paper said. And I'm about to show it right here when we when I finish talking my shit. But that was a good way to pivot. It was a good way to pivot, but one thing about a lie, you gotta keep telling the lie. See, I'ma tell the truth. Y'all know what the inside man, his inside man is nobody but people from Instagram that sends them shit on a daily day basis, right? And that's what happened with me. Somebody sent me something. I've been wondering for weeks. I told y'all, you know, that boy said something in the grand jury. In the very beginning, people that's been following this shit, situation from the very beginning, I said, that nigga knows the government's listening to his lives and he continues to incriminating people on their live, which he does. And that's some hot shit to me, right? Sunny niggas running everywhere. Ain't losing sleep or lost a dollar. I ain't never really cared, no. Yeah, I heard he shot it, but he shot it in the air, though. What? Nigga, what? Nigga, what? Nigga, what? Nigga, what? Right after I post this paperwork, you know, I got a few calls about it that say, man, psych, is that the stuff you got from your baby mother? I say, nah, somebody sent it to me. They say, psych, don't post things that people on Instagram send to you because it's probably norm nine times out of ten is him sending it to you to create a way out of you busting his ass again. I took it down. The shit was up like five minutes, literally five minutes. Now, once I took the shit down, you got it. You know, your little, you, you, because you sent it to me. So you got it. And when you got it, now this is your way to fight back. It ain't going to work because I'm going to tell the, I'm keeping it real. You know what I mean? So, yeah, my inside man was Aunt Glizzy. He, you know, he went from a fake page, sent me some bullshit. But let's go downtown and, and, and I even admit I need to find me a new inside man. You know what I mean? But let's go that just like somebody sent me this. Watch this, watch this, watch this. Long story short, we can stop running from all this shit. We can stop playing games with all this shit. You know what we could do? And Glizzy, Master Splinter Glizzy, we could go down to Court Builder. I got $5,000 that we go down there and pull up everything. Let's go pull up everything, and it'll be even better if you sign your name on the on the dotted line to get it pulled. Hey, we can really pull. We I know how to we I know how we can pull everything you ever set in that grand jury and stated because those will be your documents. You were supposed to receive a copy of them. So let's play. Let's 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 go and see everything you ever said. Let's go and see if, you know, uh, uh my son's uncle really sent me the papers that I have that you're trying to make seem like those are fake because some I don't know whether that shit real or not. You know what I mean? But I know one thing for certain, two things for sure. The shit that I posted yesterday, 100% real. No, no, the gang. They eating dick. Them, them and supporters. They supposed to support him. Guarantee they read through that paperwork how he snake his best friend out. Guarantee they ain't going to fuck with him. It ain't even about that. He keep on, on my show. It's like, you sitting up here welling. No, nigga, them niggas don't. You a slippery snake. But guess what? I got my foot on your neck, Snake, and I ain't letting up. See, what everybody, I'm going to tell y'all what he's trying to do, right? It's something called redirect, right? He's trying to redirect you into paying attention to something that don't even matter. What matters is, right, I have $5,000 right here. $5,000, man. $5,000, man, that I'm trying to bet you. Me and you go down this court building and all that paperwork that I got for my baby mother that I posted yesterday, y'all, is real. You know, but I get it. I get it. You want to bring Shawty name into it. You want to, you know, you want to bring a successful black man like Shaw name into it. I get it, Shawty. I get it because we all know how many times he, when Shaw was going through what he was going through, he incriminated Shaw. Let's take a look. Watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. Yeah, come clean I with that shit. I spike them bottles. 
The fuck? I know he spiked them bottles. On GQ, I spiked you know, a couple bottles with him. I spiked one with him before. The, the Lil Joe, uh, back in the day, I ain't gonna say no names, but we, I spiked a bottle with him before my mother. Uh, I was just spiking. I, I spiked one bottle with him before. I'm wild. I'm has this, hap has this happened on more than one occasion? I can't really say because, like, I don't know what I don't, bro. I'm just a security guard. I don't, I don't control no bottles, no credit card. I don't, I can't buy no drugs. But I don't got no money at this time. I'm broken shit, bro. I'm real life shock Lizzie. Just the, you know what I'm there for. I'm just there for one reason, bro. I can't even pay attention to no bottles coming out. But what I'm here to tell you is. He know he did wrong, man. He know he wrong. Once he showed me that one time, I mean, he never had to show me again. Like, where you learn it from? I'm just saying. You ain't just learn it right there. You ain't become no chemist. Come home to this day, we laugh about Say it with me now. Raw. <laughs> and let's not forget how you viciously, what you viciously just recently did the Taliban is before he got locked up and after. When they robbed Amigo, Abuse street for that motherfucker. A Mexican. They robbed a Mexican for that junk. Taliban fake like he was cool with him and they stole his watch. That junk. Them big ass money chains they got on, they just did a hop over a counter on the jury store, swapped the shit out, and when it got changed for they motherfucker self, bro, you niggas is crummy. Dirty as shit. All them hundred dollar bills from the stolen watches y'all down there motherfucker selling. Like what else? Niggas ain't knowing nothing, bro. Y'all whole life. Fucking clowns, cornballs. Niggas from Maryland, niggas hoes. Now, just for that Taliban can't come here with my mother. Seven can't even come here. Hey, fuck you niggas. Come to this city and see what happens. You niggas in Miami, scared of shit. Whole city looking for you scared ass niggas. Mr. Evans, stop trying to redirect y'all attention in a direction that don't matter. And let's go downtown and see what was real and what was fake. Let's go downtown just like somebody sent me that he was getting gift cards for going down the grand jury. He's an inconsistent liar. And I don't lie. I don't have nothing to hide. Like, let's go downtown and pull up all this shit. Matter of fact, I'm about to post it. Matter of fact, in this short amount of time, I just got another message from somebody else sending me something else. Watch this, watch this, watch this. Right. But you know, at the end of the day, right, this is what happens when you're dealing with Instagram. First, you, you know, you tell me we just bloggers, we just YouTubers, you know, you don't know whether it's real or fake. And, you, and this is crazy because this is coming from somebody that made a living off of lying and making up lies on people. Like, and you mad at me because people sending me stuff? Like, how? Like, but at the end of the day, right, you know, I'm mad enough to say I didn't know what the fuck that was. You know what I'm saying? And I took it right down and I said I need to find me a new inside man. Let's see how man enough you are to admit some of the lies you've told, right? But on top of that, right, I know without a hundred percent shot of a doubt that you went down there grand jury and you made a statement. I know without a hundred percent shot of a doubt that they said GQ went down there and made statements against your brother. You know why? Because I have the docket number and I'm about to post it right now. Watch this, watch this. See, this is why I call him Master Splinter, because he's a master of deception and he's a wreck. Ask him to show one time he's seen er, ever mentioned shy name. Tell him just show, okay, and Sykes said shy name. Show us where it's at. And now tell him to show you a docket number and anything else where I mentioned or incriminated shy. Like, what the, what is done is the shit you've been doing, telling on people. And we all know that, right? By now, right? But let's let's remember the shit you said, right? 
when Sosa and them was over there before they even went to trial. Let's remember what you did to the dudes that, that was locked up for GQ. Let's remember how you incriminated the goddamn shit out of them and you gave the whole motive of what they did. Let's go, y'all. We're sent to kill you. I'm from a hood called Potomac Guys. It's a gated community. It's like a college campus. You literally got to come up in there. But they didn't come in. They they pulled on a residential side street, a one-way street, and stuck guns through a fence. I was damn near 500 yards away. They just had assault rifles, and they shot in the courtyard of 50 people. And out of them 50 people, they hit my best friend. <laughs> it's just, I guess it's, I guess it was just one of them days, bro. I guess I caught the, the bad end of the stick. Changed my life forever, though, bro. In a good way and a bad way. But... Yeah, that's what happened. Some guys were sent to kill me. And I got subpoenaed. To know that they came to kill me, I had got subpoenaed from the FBI. I got this the FBI. It, that shit went federal. I got oh, hold, hold up, Ryan. I might need to watch. Did y'all just see that nigga laugh at GQ down again? And you nigga, and them niggas want to be that nigga? Y'all want to follow that nigga and fuck with that nigga, man? That nigga just on national TV, man. Laughed at GQ getting smoked one more time for the record. Let me show y'all again how he felt about that the night he got smoked.